Hello, uh, this is Max with Direct Payment. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the uh, Zoda POS. This is for a stores, um, a big stores, um, with technician checking out themselves. We want it to be as efficient, as quick as possible. Um, so uh, uh, this salon doesn't want any fancy stuff. No signature pad on the right, no handheld devices. Uh, they want the uh, waiting list on the TV. Um, print out the check-in tickets and then uh, services on the menus. Keep it simple. They can put the amount in themselves um, because this is for the technicians. Okay, this kind of remind me back of uh, the day I used to uh, manage uh, operation in UPS, and uh, it's like a timing belt where the packages go into. Um, individual departments or sections and uh, and you move it along the line without any time wasters okay so uh, this is how we're gonna do it I'm gonna do a couple of transactions here okay. uh, check-in tickets okay. um, go ahead e this is ticket number 10. Select the tickets. Put the service in. So let's say this is $25. They can put in their amount. So the menu is as simple as possible. Okay. This customer have points because I turn that on. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, credit card. They wanted to print out a ticket, put the tips, sign at the end of the day, uh, that they can adjust the tips themselves. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Close the tickets. Okay. So let's say this customer has an appointment. It's going to show up that they have an appointment right here. Um, is this your appointment? Yes. And this is ticket number 11. So um, they hold these tickets, the customers, uh, go down and, 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 and get the service done from the technicians. Once they are done, they still hold the same ticket and walk up uh, to the um, to, to the pay table up front. The technician can just hold it and know exactly which ticket it is. So, uh, J right here. Um, but this customer also do another full set for thirty-five dollars. Okay. The way we do with multiple um, uh, services is um, select your services from the right, and then on the left, change the name of the person that doing the service. So in this case, um, let's put this person down as the one doing the full set. Pay. I'm gonna avoid the liberty points credit card put the card in. you can actually tap on the card too as well okay do the same stuff um, tips on the receipt and then uh, and then also uh, uh, signatures close close the tickets no receipt I usually print out the work orders to see exactly uh, uh, this is the old way that the technician used to want it they they want their their work orders how much they do um, the tips service charge and stuff like that but nowadays it's kicked in onto the uh, on the onto the technician technician apps so there's no need for that. So this this technician, they just finish their service, and uh, this this the app for the technician. It's kick in. It's all also notify them when it's time for them to go to work. Um, example like this case. Um, if you have a technician, so let's say they're doing a fifteen dollar service, you can actually notify them on the app, and uh, it will prompt. So 
this is for tracking the service, how long it takes to get the service done, and also to notify them when it's time for them to go to work. On the apps, it will show notifications. Okay, all right. Um, this salon, they want to keep it simple, and then at the end of the day, they can go through uh, their batch out stream. So there's two different transactions we're doing right now. Select the transactions. Uh, put in tips amount, uh, so uh, ten dollar. Adjust tips. Yep. So you look down at all the transactions one by one, and you put in the tips. So this transaction right here. By the way, you notice there's a uh, pennies at the end. Uh, the reason is because I'm putting uh, taxes on this stuff. Um, I, I was just testing for another stores. Um, okay, so this one is. Uh, $20 tips that two different people on this so that's why it will allow you to split the tips um, you can customize it chair is getting $15 do it again this tips so 20 total 15 for chair 5 for max Okay, or you can do equal split, or you can based on percentage of the service itself. Okay, press OK, and then you just go down the list of individual tickets. Okay, um, and then from there, uh, okay, once you're done, you can batch out right there to as well, or you're just gonna let the system batch out by itself. Um, it's auto batch anyway. Um, that's that's pretty much it. I notice, uh, I don't know if you see that when you do your credit card transaction, sometimes it will pop up this screen right here. This is for, and I guess this sometimes would take too long, uh, and uh, this salon doesn't want it. But basically, um, when customer put in the tips, they can actually just go ahead and input it here, five dollars. Okay. And if you have multiple technician, it will allow them to uh, split the uh, the tips too as well. Um, but that's uh, but we can turn that off, and it it will go up, um, back into the pay screen without that tip menu pop up. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it.